Ganez, I did my part. Here's the second piece. It's on you to make something out of it. The power of the Searing Song at one's command. Let the Hellion fulfill its function once again. Anathea, may your light break Fury's ascent. So much power is contained within. A glimpse of her energy. Good. We have the weapon. We were supposed to have an army of truth seekers at our back to clear the way to the monolith. How are we going to get through the thick walls of Crimson Keep with so few left? While you were gathering the second piece, we've been busy trying to find a way in. We will turn chaos to our advantage. As we speak, the Third Purifier's Legion is laying siege to Crimson Keep to try to regain control of it from the pacified troops inside. Republicans of the Senate against Republicans of Araman. In time, the Senate will lose the whole Legion. And worse than that, they will all end up pacified. And yet, the mayhem they cause is a blessing, keeping our common enemy busy while we make our way in. Wait a minute. You plan to have us cross Republican siege lines before even reaching Crimson Keep? Correct. It is the only way to seize the momentum that the Purifiers are unknowingly building. The Daybreakers will move with me to strike the Republican lines first. They will send troops to stop us, but we will storm through to get to the Crimson Keep's main gate. Meanwhile, you should meet less resistance as you go your own way through the trenches. Reach the Keep's walls, find a way to their top, cut your way through pacified thralls, and open the main gates. We will meet you in front of the monolith. Using the battlefield's chaos to our advantage is a double-edged sword, Ganez. Still, you are right. This is bold enough to work. Valeria will join you. It cannot hurt to have fury on your side, too. Oh, and, uh... Thank you. Thank you for everything. Daybreakers, we march to war! One with the light! One with the light! In there. B. So you're not a Republican anymore, but you still dress like one. A dead one. And you plan to confront their Grand Inquisitor? There. Hemlock works for the Covenant of the Blind and Araman. Probably always has. He's as much a Republican as I am now. If stories about him are true, I hope you don't cross paths with him. For your sake. I know what to expect now. So this is it. We march to war against the Purifiers, against the Covenant of the Blind, against Fury itself. Looks like it. You know the plan? I know their plan, all right. What about ours? What do you mean, ours? We open the gate. I'm talking about Hemlock. You know he will be out there. Opening the gate is one thing, but we have to rat him out and finish this. One way or another. I know, sister. We end everything this time. No matter the odds? No matter the odds. Sister, I'm proud to do this at your side. Me too, Val. We'll get through this together. <sighs> Gotta catch my breath. I saw this beam's origin, below Cordonon. Following it will lead us straight to Crimson Keep. Hmm. At least there's no way to get lost. If Hemlock's possessed, you think we can still save him? He is not possessed. A small difference. I disagree. He willfully put himself in the service of Arrow. I don't see why he would do that, but he did. There's no saving him from himself, is there? Frankly, I don't know. We have awakened his will to resist. He's fighting back against Araman's control, even if that does bring him immeasurable pain. Maybe we should assist him to break free, rather than put him down. He turned Edric against you. He abandoned me when he could have stopped me this. Even if we could bring him back, I'm not sure I could forgive what he did to us. You judge the Grand Inquisitor. I wouldn't have made a pact with Araman in the first place. But I get How do you break a pact, anyway? I've no clue. But if anyone can succeed, it will be him. We have to be hopeful.
Daybreakers! Remember what we fight for. One with the light! One with the light! has started. We should hurry. They're counting on us to open the main gate. Artillery shots nearby. Careful now. We've reached their back line. These are Federator cannons. I could recognize their thunder anywhere. Purifiers brought big artillery this far north. Seems that the Senate will spare no expense to get its keep back. The last stretch before the walls are ahead of us. If that's a siege, then expect fortifications. Let's just hope the Daybreaker's diversion works. Only one way to know for sure. Purifiers, change of plans. A group of daybreakers has decided to join the party. More fun for us. We're moving out to sell G until they are dealt with. Remember your oath. The Senate is watching. Purity in sacrifice. <laughs> Let's go! You'll all die! Take cover! Ah! Can't feel my legs! Medic! Where's the bloody medic? Stay Where are our reinforcements? What are the orders? There are no orders! We're cut off from command! We're on our own! Surrender your wrath! We can't make a breakthrough against such magic! We have to warn the back line! We have to pull back! Incoming fire! Yes. Something's coming our way. It's him. Val, stay on me. We take him together. Fraud. Kill them. I will serve you no longer. You will obey this command! Turn around, children. Save yourselves. We've got to help him. I won't surrender. He's resisting a woman's call. We must buy him time.
The more he struggles, the more they send for him. It means he's winning. They're panicking. This is our chance to push forward. A moment. Father. Which side are you on? In the middle of this nightmare, you have awakened me. Your own struggle inspired me to fight back. This is not over. We have to stop Fury's ascent. Ariman approaches. I know. And yet we don't have the power to stop the ritual. We didn't come alone. As we speak, a group of Daybreakers escort the Hellion toward the main gate. With it, we'll stop the ritual. The Hellion? It is reassembled. Then there is not a second to waste. Those Daybreakers will get slaughtered if the gate isn't opened when they reach it. Sure. Let's all hold hands together. You made a pact with Araman. How could you let that happen? When my powers unraveled, I was a young Justicar. My beliefs crumbled on themselves as I opened myself to the spiritual world. A life of war hadn't prepared me for the brutality concealed within the knowledge I would soon harness. What knowledge? This world is off course. Unbalanced, abandoned. We humans are mere tools left to the numerous fallen primordials, fighting and scheming to return from the Abyss, or devising ways to change all of creation to fit their own design. I tried to find us a protector. Surely primordials remain to shield mankind against these absolute threats. If the Daybreakers can conjure the dawn magic, Anathea herself must still be watching over us. But Daybreakers admitted that summoning her magic was all they could do. Her voice, her insights were non-existent. As I felt the growing threats at the gates of mankind, I scoured the world for years trying to contact her. All in vain, at my most desperate. It was not Anathea, but Ariman who appeared to me. He confirmed what I thought was the undeniable truth. After ravaging the world with their own conflict, Primordials abandoned humanity to war, division, and disease. He came to me to correct that failure. He offered peace to the Four Realms through unity, 
a way for the Republic to fulfill its vision and gather mankind under a single banner. But it came with a price. I needed to surrender my free will so he could guide me. The young man that I was, I agreed and embraced this vision as the only possible path to salvation. I was fooled. His grip grew stronger. Then came more war, more loss, more pain. Really? Tell me, father. Was it Araman when you stood aside as Malus arrested me? Was it Araman too when you let her chase me like a dog? I am not asking you to forgive me. I made choices to protect what I could. I chose to lose you so that your ascended sister may survive. If you thought that choice didn't bring me pain, oh, you would be mistaken, daughter. As a free woman, you will have the luxury to fill your heart with hatred because of what I did. But for that to happen, we have to stop our own enslavement. We have to stop Araman. This isn't over. I'll be keeping an eye on you.